Last video we painted the skin on this ogre war boss, but it's hard to read the tones and contrast because all around it is black. If you look at this flesh colour against a changing background, you can see what I mean. It can look very different by its surroundings. Today I will paint the skirt and leather areas. As the skin is so warm, I think I want to try to contrast this with a blue skirt and then dark textured leather to stand out from the skin. That's the plan, so let's get started. For the skirt, I'm using Dark Sea Blue from Vallejo Model Color as the shadow and our starting color. Putting this on everywhere, not worrying about trying to leave some black, I want this color to be the darkest shadow. Once I get a nice even coverage of that, I move on to the next layer. Some Ultramarine Blue from Vallejo Game Color with a drop of blue ink from Liquitex just to enrich the blue color a little bit more. I thought it was a bit toned down. Adding this to all the areas that would get light. This is the first step of highlighting and should cover most of the dark sea blue, leaving that in just the shadows. Once I am happy with the placement of this layer, I dilute it with some water to make a glaze and blend from the shadow layer into this layer. The mix I made is a little too diluted, so I have to do this a couple of times until I'm happy with the blend. Next layer is Calador Sky and this gets placed only over the ultramarine layer, but not to the edges leaving some of the ultramarine layer visible. This will leave a gradient of colors behind, making it blend more smoothly. Once I have this layer placed evenly everywhere I want, again, I mix up a glaze with this color and blend from the ultramarine layer into the Calador sky. This time the mix is better and it looks okay after just one layer. I hadn't planned to go any brighter, but now it's on the mini, I definitely want to. And Lothurn Blue from Citadel looks a nice option. So I start putting that down in the brightest areas of the skirt, at the very tops and as a thin line down the most protruding folds. I also use it to edge highlight the bottom of the skirt to kind of frame this part of the model. It's not in a lot of the areas, so this layer doesn't take too long. And again, using a glaze made up of this color, I'll blend it in. With that layer done, the skirt is finished. And I think it looks great. There's a lot of contrast in it and it's pretty smooth and clean for me. So now it's onto the leather. I want an old textured look to the leather, so I'm going to go between layers of paint and washes to kind of stain and weather it down. But first, an even layer of Gobi Brown from Scale 75. Once I've got that over all the areas of leather, it's time to mix up some washes. I'm using various colors and paints here, mostly raw umber ink from Liquitex. Adding in some greens, oranges, blacks, blues, various colors to see how it goes. Then using an old rough brush, I jab at the model and mess up the base coat. I mix the different colors and just have some fun with it. There's no order or system to this, just trying to be chaotic. This will leave a somewhat satin finish, which for me is fine for a leather material. I'd be lying if I didn't admit to making a little mess with this and having to go back and fix some bits of the skin. So if you are gonna try this, maybe do this sort of messy technique first before you have anything else painted. Once that's all dry, I start highlighting. For the straps, I'll paint just the edges. That'll leave enough contrast, but for the larger areas like the shoulder pads, I stipple and draw little patterns and dots and things in the center. The area that would get worn down leaving the inner trim dark. Once I have a layer or two of that applied around all of the leather, I go back in again with the washes, letting it pool in some areas, leaving some areas dry again, not to let there be much order to it. I do this back and forth to build up a weathered look until I'm happy. So now you can see how everything hopefully works together a little bit better. I also tried to make a blue steel effect for the weapon handle to bring some balance to the blue skirt at the bottom of the model. I'm not sure if it works, but the two metal rings on the shoulder pad really help it. The bones, the ropes and the fur I think work well and overall I'm pretty happy, but to be honest I was hoping for more. Maybe my next model will be the one. What should I paint next? Let me know in the comments, more videos to come, until then, see ya!